Aries, happy birthday to you guys. Happy early, happy belated, and happy birthday to all my Aries celebrating the birthday this month or next month. All right, Aries, so this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave out the rest. I am doing a reading right now that focuses on the other person's energy, what they haven't told you, what they don't want you to know. So with the two of swords that I saw right here, um, I'm already getting, since I did a pre-shuffle for you guys, let's take a look at this. Is, I got the king of swords <clears throat> and the queen of swords. I also saw, I saw a lot of swords. I'm just going to tell you guys really quickly before I forget. Um, I saw the hermit reversed. I also saw the tower. The tower is actually the first starting card, the Ten of Wands. And, you know, to me, overall, what I was getting from your reading is Aries. The person you are thinking about, or that's heavily thinking about you, they had the Five of Swords reversed. To me, it's like they felt very conflicted about the past, something that happened between the two of you. They can't quite move on from it. They are still somewhat in regrets of it. You know, they feel like they have been slight, they've either been slighted, deceited, or they have been deceived or deceitful. Um, <clears throat> you know, they just feel they have like a feeling, I don't know if they've won the situation, but they don't feel like they've won. They feel guilty about a certain win. You know, there's still somewhat of a resentment or feeling that you resent them or they resent you. There's a feeling of resentment on either your side or their side. But there's a desire for peace. There's a desire for a reconciliation. There's a desire to acknowledge and or can come into terms with you know if they could just move on from the situation and hit that reset button you know and they've realized that there are no true winners of this i think there was a lot of ego between the two of you because what i was getting was just somebody here it was justice reversed the tower the five of swords reversed and then you know there's just a lot of conflict gathering information unable to walk away or having difficult leaving behind a situation and they need to let go what was the cards that fell let me see real quick See, like I said, Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right, how do they feel about you? What is it that they don't want you to know, Aries? It could be anybody. It could be a spouse. It could be an ex. It could be um, someone who you've had children with. Page of Cups reversed. Someone who you've known since childhood. Someone who you've known since you you haven't talked to this person in a long time. Maybe there was a rejection here. I'm getting rejection. Alright, what is it that they don't want you to know? For Aries, let's spy on them real quick. Aries, what is it that your person, you're in connection with, someone you're thinking about or want information on? What do you, they what do they want what do they not want you to know? Two of Swords, okay. What they don't want you to know, Aries, is they're having trouble moving on from the situation. Could be from the situation or from you. 
And we have the full reverse as the overall energy of the reading. So this person is, um, you know, the full upright talks about a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, feeling that exuberance, that excitement to begin or start on something new. Very, it could be very challenging. You don't know what's ahead. You could fall off a cliff. You don't know, but you're still going to go after it. You know, with this depiction of this actual card, you don't know if the guy is actually going to fall off the cliff. He does not know what's actually below there, but he's willing to take that leap of faith. That is what the card, the meaning of the card is. But with the reverse, it tells me you know they're still stuck possibly quite stuck on something this could be unfinished business from the past unable to take that leap of faith unable to have that new beginning it could be very mentally emotionally physically challenging for them at a certain time and it has something to do with you it has something to do with how they feel about the situation how the situation was resolved with you unable to move on and have this new beginning we also have the three of pentacles they would want to work on this okay how what they don't want you to know aries let's take a look let's flip it all over and we'll talk about it one by one and then i'm going to gather it all together and tell you we i'm already getting this um um, heavy download the message here is very clear to me this person wants a new chance wants a second start wants a reconciliation with you but unsure and un possibly can't because you may be at a dish at a distance you know as i was just mentioning earlier we are you know at the time of your reading I know it sucks to be going through this quarantine, this shutdown during your birthday, especially airy season is full of excite, excitement and energy and just partying and going out, being you know outdoors or doing whatever with friends, maybe even just by yourself, just at least to be able to, you know, exert your energy in some way, shape or form. And here we are, a lot of us are stuck at home. Well, I mean, even if you're stuck at home, you can still go out and do whatever, walk a dog or whatever. But, you know, you can't really gather around with groups of people. But I feel like this person, what I'm trying to say is even that's kind of going on right now, they're actually losing a bit of interest, not even really wanting to do that, even if they had the chance to. Because they are feeling like they have unfinished or unresolved business with you from the past. And if they do have offers made to them, what I'm getting here, Aries, you know, if somebody here, they're working on something, they're working on a project, they are doing something with another person, they could be involved with another relationship, they're still in conflicts. Okay, what I'm getting here, there's still in challenging conflicts with how they feel about you. They feel like they must make this decision relatively soon and maybe time has been against them for some time. Maybe it's been a couple of months, three, um, three weeks, three days, three months, three years. That something's been going on and they want it to come to an end. Okay, they want to make a final decision, a judgment, and some a judgment call in some sort of way about a certain person, about how they feel about you romantically, the lovers, about this relationship, about this connection. The lovers also mean um, if there is more than one person having choices, having options. This person is trying to decide: is it the past or is it this something new that they want? See, I mentioned this five of swords and that ten of wands. Beginning of your reading, and here they are again. They are literally conflicted. This is spirits, maybe message to me. To I, I was kind of really curious as to why they were having. Um, this feeling of a false start unable to start on something and it's because they are as still as sometimes you know I'm not saying they're completely stuck on the situation but at times they find themselves unable to completely move on from a situation that they feel is over but it's not over they're conflicted. It's like it's over for them, but it's not over. 
I mean, this could be because I saw King of Swords and the King of Cups, a battle between a head over heart decision. Some of them, it's maybe Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person in the mix. We also have your card in here. He or she does not matter, but it comes out in reverse. How they're seeing the situation is you're in reverse, that there is... You know, there's not this, per the moment isn't correct, the moment isn't right. I'm also getting here and they're willing to work on this situation, but they're looking to see if it's going to be a worthwhile investment. They're looking at it to see if this is worth being consumed of their energy and or their time and or for financial reasons. You know, they're just kind of um, examining it. But the Seven of Pentacles really talks about... You know, just saying all the time that they contributed to something. You know, this is like reflecting on this relationship, this connection. They're at a pause, you know, waiting to harvest the fruits of your labor. But they're also seeing so many signs to keep going, not to give up too early. They have this feeling of losing patience and losing faith, um, feeling very frustrated perhaps with its rewards, seeing it that it's not, you know, possibly not worth it. But they're cross-examining. They're like, okay, well maybe there's still improvements to be made. There's still this something that I must do. So I need to make a decision about a relationship right now. But the sign that I'm getting right now is to keep going, is to keep working on what it is I've already started. Okay, the Page of Swords reversed is telling me they do want to communicate. There's something that they also want to communicate to you. Okay, some of them they could be spying. Page of Swords reversed is kind of my stalker card, okay? So, I mean, not always. It depends on the cards surrounding it to me. I don't always read the cards as it is by definition or by the meaning of the cards, either upright or reversed. I really go read the cards intuitively. But what I'm seeing here with all the cards that are coming out, they have a message or they have sent a message or it may be received a message that was not properly and or was not received well or was not communicated well or possibly was not received at all with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. You know, and this is like right next to your card. So it's like, you know, why make this effort if it's not going to satisfy me? Why they're taking this pause and this time to reflect on something is seeing if it's worthwhile. Seeing if, and they're contemplating if it's, you know, maybe there's another person involved. They're unsure. Okay, they're unsure right now. Their mind is about to be made up, but they're still feeling there's possibly no chance. No chance to actually have this new beginning with you that they've really wanted, that they really want. And I, I see this because the lovers really talks about, you know, someone who they find is their perfect match, their soulmate, someone with full compatibility. This is more than the Six of Cups. This is more than just... You know, the Two of Cups. This is the major arcana of, you know, Ten of Cups to me. <clears throat> if you can see in every, every single deck, the lovers is like a blessed union. A blessed union. Um, two people who are divine counterparts who are meant to be in this world together. Whether that is, you know, as... Um, to go as life partners or as soulmates. But these two people were energetically meant to cross paths with one another, especially right next to judgment. But somebody here, they have a decision to make about somebody about you, about this connection, or about somebody else. Like I said, the lovers also talks about um, having options, or you know, maybe there's more than one person in this connection at this time, and they need to um, really think about it. Or maybe they're thinking you're with somebody right now. You know, there's a choice. There's a certain duality, but there is a level of friendship besides a romantic relationship. Then they're kind of um, at this point where 
if they're wondering if, you know, this is interesting because what I'm getting is um, this person is trying to choose if they want to allow themselves to fall in love. This is creating healthy boundaries. You know, with this, Three of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles, this is like, to me, this is they want a healthy relationship. They want to create healthy boundaries. They feel that you guys are soulmates. This is a lover or a romantic interest or a friendship. But there is a certain level of break in communication or a disharmony here. The need to find self-love instead of giving away power or giving power away in a relationship. They felt in some way they've had this sense of loss of self. Maybe they've overexpected, maybe held too many expectations of previous relationships in the past or with this connection in general. And there was a level of manipulation that was experienced either by you or by them. And there was an imbalanced partnership and there was codependency here and there was something that was, um, as you can see here, they want this healthy connection, but then over here they feel mistreated, misguided, manipulated, or they feel like something here will not be given back equally. There's an imbalanced partnership here. And they have to have to they have to trust pretty much. Okay. Well, regardless what it is, your reading talks about there's an important choice that needs to be made and they know it. And they have this spiraling energy that is just keeping you and them intertwined and it's unwinding between two people who are beginning to connect but they need to choose to shift into this relationship or not. They feel that they're falling deeply in love with you or have had in the past, um, I'm really getting a love relationship here, a connection, but they feel that you know falling deeply into trust will be necessary in order to create a lasting bond. And there is possibly trust issues here, either by you or by them. Let's go ahead and see why they're at a stalemate. They feel confused. They have two rows, two people, two up obstacles or challenges to okay look at that three of swords like i said the lovers here can mention more than one we have they feel very pulled um, in many different directions about this connection they feel somewhat innate you know that their heart has been that their heart is in conflict right now with what they want why is the King of Wands reversed with the Two of Swords and the Ace? Now let's just see why. I'm just going to look at this really quickly for you guys. Why do they have this whole last row in reverse? Okay, let's just take this. Yeah, it is you guys. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Fire sign. Could be a Leo. But we have the Wheel of Fortune and Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. There are changes with the Wheel of Fortune, with the Sun, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so... Some of you guys are entangled with third-party situations. Someone's caught up in a relationship, or both of you guys are, because I see two females and two males. So whether you're a male, you could be um, deciding between two people. Um, if you are a female, you could be deciding between two people. You guys get what I mean. But there's obviously two people <laughs> to choose from. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be a person. It could just be... See, I'm seeing Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. But this could also be embodying your energy. But we also have the King of Wands reverse. So I'm getting a soulmate pair here. We have the Queen and King of Wands reverse, but then we also have the Three of Swords and the Lovers. All right, so the Page of Swords, they really do want to reconnect. They want to communicate, but something here talks about uh, unable to connect and, and feeling this uh, feeling of rejection here. 
and they want to be they're waiting for some sort of change the sun with the wheel of fortune is very promising <clears throat> you know this is like they're on this something very promising has also taken place in their life <clears throat> the sun and the wheel of fortune well I mean the sun is the most happiest card in the deck and the wheel of fortune talks about a change of fate and luck and this is in a very positive way so i feel like these are they're very hopeful to how things have turned like i was saying i was trying to see why all these cards are in reverse and this is what came out and that you know whatever came out in reverse they're very hopeful that instead of all these cards in reverse it will be it will be um and it's upright again it'll be back to how things were but even better that things will be resolved in time you guys will possibly queen of pentacle talks about a marriage a wife material a manager you know someone who's very compatible someone who's a loving mother coming back together you know after a, a level of time a level of healing a level of change has taken place all right this is kind of why they have the full reverse. They're unsure. They have a, a lot of things they've been thinking about considering you, Aries. This is kind of what I have for you guys at this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you guys later. Have a birthday.